it's not even the morning i'm gonna be honest with you it's it's two o'clock and what have i done absolutely nothing no that's a lie i've been working i've been editing and getting some jobs done and sending off some content and i'm exhausted <laughs> gonna be honest i'm exhausted what is the day it's thursday the 8th of december hope you guys are all doing well i'm gonna be honest i'm starting to edit some of these vlogmases back and i'm like are these getting really boring i mean bless my beautiful girl Gemma miles i'm sure you all watch because she's honestly at this point the queen of youtube she messaged me yesterday out of the blue it actually made my day i'm gonna get it up she said i'm obsessed with your vlogmas literally look forward to it every day like at am i okay i actually keep getting really emotional about the way like i can feel my eyes watering <laughs> what the hell oh my god like cash was talking to me last night and my eyes started wearing up he was like are you okay i was like not really like sorry how is she this cute like i just think it's I think it's because I'm talking about my eyes welling up, they're welling up now. But no, it really did make my day. She, she said she looks forward to it every day. And I was like, oh my God, this, this actually like is the sweetest thing ever. I panicked that they're so boring and it means a lot coming from you. And yeah, she just said that she's like not at all that she looks forward to them. But I can't lie, like naturally just vlogging every day. I'm a normal human but My lips are so dry. Let me grab some lip balm whilst i'm talking yeah naturally they're gonna be a little bit tedious because i'm a normal human and my life is not that exciting i'm gonna be real with you and my camera's not gonna balance on my knees i don't know what i'm trying to achieve hold on you can stare at my um belly for a sec but i'm still pushing through and there are certain people on youtube that i can literally watch them like watching paint dry and whatever they do i wouldn't be bored so i know some of you guys probably i'm not saying that you happily watch me like paint dry but i know that you guys still enjoy the videos regardless but i just want to say if you're finding them a little bit boring i know because i'm watching them back like <sighs> but that's the whole point of vlogmas isn't it it's putting up videos every day and daily vlogging and life sometimes is boring and sometimes i literally do just clear up slash do nothing yeah this morning was literally me editing videos and now i'm gonna get some lunch with my nan because i'm really hungry and i've not done a food shop in a really long time and this evening we have uh, mo gilligan and friends which is mo gilligan the comedian and then he's bringing out some friends <laughs> like it says on the din i got these for cass's birthday this ticket and funnily enough we're actually in the second row i don't know how i managed that i can't even remember but i was like that's amazing but then when we spoke about it we were like we're literally second row to see a comedian we're gonna get picked on like we might not, but obviously comedians work with the audience and they like banter them. It's, we're literally asking to get, you know, abused. <laughs> but nevertheless, very, very excited. I love seeing comedians. I think I've only seen Jack Whitehall and he is one of my favourite comedians. I can't lie. I do love Mo Gilligan, but it's one of Cass's favourite. Obviously, that's why it was his birthday present. Kelsey's seen him and she just said it was the best thing ever. She was actually hoping that Cass... Um, couldn't make it tonight so she could come but obviously it was his birthday present he could well you never know last minute work could have come up we actually have a reservation this weekend as well which i might as well tell you about because i well we're not going uh, valentine's day last year i booked is this really annoying that i'm literally laying in a sandwich of a pillow but i'm really comfy i booked a safari lodge which i saw on tiktok 
And at the time, I think it was like trending on TikTok. There was this one video that was trending. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. Now I'm talking about this, I'm getting deja vu. I don't know if I've spoken about this before. If I have, apologies. But I booked it for Valentine's Day. As in, I booked it to Telcast on Valentine's Day. I couldn't get a booking until October. So obviously February to October is a very long wait. <laughs> um, and October came round and Cass couldn't go can't go to anything so I pushed it back they were so sweet and they just pushed it back to the 10th of December which is Saturday Cass can't go <laughs> honestly at this point I'm like should I just go on my own but I emailed them again they've just been so accommodating and they're like let us know when you want to go which I haven't let them know yet so that's why I'm like are we going because Cass was supposed to be in Switzerland I think this weekend touring with an artist but I don't think I think the dates have been pushed back for the tour so he's like I don't know if I'm going and I'm like seriously I've changed this freaking safari thing which I so want to go to by the way we're going to stay with the elephants but we spoke about it really briefly the other day and he was like it'd be really nice if we could take the baby and I was like, yeah, actually, that would be quite cute. But that wouldn't mean pushing back, like, so far. And also, she wouldn't have a clue what's going on, obviously. Again, I'm coming to you guys. What should we do? Should we... I know that people say you should make the most of the time that you have together. But... I don't know. Should we book it as, like, a little date night for us two as a treat before the baby's here? Or should we make it a family affair? and see if I can push back to, I don't even know when it would be. Cause do we want to take her when she's a few weeks old? Obviously don't know when she's going to be coming. Obviously I have a due date, but could be two weeks after, could be two weeks before. I could have a C-section. I could be in recovery. Do you know what I mean? See, when I say these things out loud, it makes sense to not wait for her. I don't know. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm spending this whole vlog sitting here, but I'm going to go for some lunch with my nan and uh, see if she wants to go, so. Let's go out and get some food. Hello. Hi. Hi, how's you? Yeah, good. I was just, I texted you and said, do you want to go for lunch soon? I'm hungry. Oh, oh that sounds lovely. I was planning going anyway today. Oh, I have some paint samples that this company sent me. And I want to swatch them and see if any of them are going to be the paint we want to use in this room. This is, I'm sitting in the wardrobe section right now. <sighs> You're supposed to stir paint, aren't you? Before you use it. I'm not actually going to stir it because I don't have anything to stir it with. Oh, great. I've already got it on me. This first colour is called Paving Stone. So I'm just going to do a square on the wall and I know you're probably supposed to roll over it and all sorts but we'll do that's nice can you even see that how am I going to remember I'm going to have to get a pencil and write this down but I want a creamy colour I thought I'll give it a break with the lime wash for a little while but this is going to be the colour that's in this wardrobe and also in the baby's room, which don't panic, I'm not gonna be a beige mom. I mean, I do love neutral, so we're not gonna go overboard, but I will add some pinks and stuff, but I just wanna start with a nice flat base. Here's the four colors I've just sampled. They look so different on this wall already. I mean, I know it's obvious, but this wall compared to this wall. God, I hate stuff like this. Sometimes I wish that there wasn't a choice. That is literally white on this wall, but on that wall it doesn't look white. Well, oh, that didn't get me any further. Amazing. Great work. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Donut time sent some donuts and look who's I actually, arguably, no, um, not even arguably. Not to, Wait. Not to, it says, dear Cassius. No, it doesn't. 
Um, I was going to say Quality Street's my favourite, but they've took all the red ones. Two. Last time we got these, they got lost, remember? Yeah, but they delivered this? them to someone random. Cash, you're dropping Quality Street all over the floor. We're literally about to go for dinner. Doesn't care. Mmm. Nice. Mmm. Can you get in the shower, please? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, they came with that. Pardon? Them glasses come with them on there. Yeah, I, g I gathered. I didn't think you just had them in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was planning on doing like a little get ready, not get ready with me, but like a clip montage dinner time. Literally took like two minutes. I'm not joking. I pay maximum five minutes to do this makeup, and my hair is greasy. Dinner time's wash it, so I put the headband on. I'm kind of like in the headband vibe. And I had it on in yesterday's vlog because it was just getting my hair out of my eyes. Because when I was sorting under the bed, I found all my summer stuff and I always wear headbands in summer. Anyway, we're ready to go. I'm actually ready first. Honestly, bored waiting for you. I don't think we're actually going to have time to eat because it's not like a concert, is it? There's not going to be like a support well, act. Sometimes isn't it? Mm. Since it's 8 o'clock, it starts. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I mean, it's super chill. The mirror needs a dust. So I've got on this Zara coat because it's about minus four degrees. And then just a black Zara vest top. I've got on some maternity jeans for the first time, which Whoa, are- what's underneath that? Why that, why that black <laughs> I thing? just showed you that. Not that black thing. Yeah, that's how you wear them. What are they? I literally just, as you come out the bathroom, I went, look at my maternity jeans. Yeah, I saw like the lowness. Oh, I thought it was your top. No, they don't just sit. How do you think they stay up? They'd fall off. <laughs> You said you like them! Yes, I, yeah, I mean, I not like them, I just wasn't expecting them. I mean, I'm wearing a black top so you can't see it anyway. Well, I'm ready. Yeah, anyway, so these jeans, excuse the mess in the background, are just like the normal style jeans that I'd wear anyway, but I don't fit in my jeans, so maternity it is. I just wish that they'd bring some out where the jeans start higher, because literally just look like I'm wearing low rise which is quite funny and then I've got Uggs on because like I said minus eight degrees so here we are ready to go and we plan on eating when we get there will we have time who knows we'll have to find out. and then Cass went all black I can't walk to go through ready let's go Gorge. Who was the guy we liked before him? Richard Blackwell or something. Pardon? Richard Blackwell or Richard? Richard? Blackwell. I'll put it on the screen. And he was so funny. Like my stomach was hurting. I was thinking I'm squashing this baby because I was laughing so much. But it was so good. I just put on my story. If you are thinking of a last minute Christmas gift or if you've got someone's like family, boyfriend, girlfriend, friend's birthday coming up, comedy show or a concert is such a good idea like I booked this for Cass in March and obviously it's very far down the line so you kind of do forget about it and I I know I always book stuff in advance for him and he kind of jokes like yay can't wait 10 years <laughs> for this gift <laughs> but it ends up coming around obviously and it's something to look forward to. I love comedy shows. I've only ever seen now Jack Whitehall and Mo Gilligan and all his mates, which I've are very different. And yeah, Cass has seen Kevin Hart. I actually would love to see Kevin Hart. Does he? he doesn't come to the UK much, right? Uh, I think he's only done it once. Oh, I'd like to see Kevin Hart, but we actually watch quite a lot of um, the, like, their comedy shows on Netflix kind of like one of the only things that we can agree on to watch that and murder mysteries other than that we've not got the same taste in films and stuff but anyways such a good night a little bit different for a what is it well it's friday now but it's thursday on a school night and originally Cass was supposed to be going to switzerland 
in the morning, which means he'd be coming in for like, you wouldn't even be able to go to sleep, would you? No. He'd be going straight to the airport right now, but that's been canceled. So he's got a part with me this weekend, which is a lot of fun. And it's so cold, I can't believe, I feel like I'm saying this in every vlog, but it's getting colder and I'm just not made for the cold. But anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap this here. I don't know if this vlog is that long, but anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the morning. Well, tomorrow. Bye guys.